Hi, this is Brian, Brian Sun. I'm a senior consultant at Red Hat, which is company mostly known for its Red Hat Enterprise Linux server, RHEL, and also open source project contributions, including containers, Kubernetes, middlewares, and so many things out there. As for me, I'm an RIT CSA, Red Hat Certified System Administrator, and also Red Hat Certified OpenShift Specialist. I also regularly write for opensource.com, Red Hat Developer Blog, and also Red Hat Blog in a number of other things. In this video, we are going to see the about BERT tools, virtualization tools. It consists of six different open source tools. KVM, QEMU, Libvirt, Libcast TFS, Vert Manager, and Libus Info. This is all collection of tools, open source virtualization tools, to put together by open source contributors around the world to make the virtualization a world a better place. Some tools like a KVM and QEMU might sound familiar to most Linux enthusiasts, but Libvirt and Libguest TFS are maybe not so familiar. So in here, this video, we will explore what each tool is and what it's good for. But before getting started, it might be good ideas to explore and learn about some vocabularies and terms. So let's go ahead and do that first. First thing is the virtualization. In computing, virtualization refers to the act of creating virtual, rather than actual, version of something, including virtual computer hardware platforms, storage device, and computer network resources. Second term we're going to see is an emulator. It is a hardware or software that enables one computer system call the host to behave like another computer system called a guest. We have a virtual machine. Also known as a guest machine, virtual machine is an emulation of a real physical hardware based on a computer. Host. Computer on which a hypervisor runs one or more virtual machines. Then we have a hypervisor, a computer software, firmware or hardware that create and learns the virtual machine. Lastly, we have a kernel, computer program at the core of a computer's operating system with complete control over everything in the system. Now we learn about these terms Let's go and explore what virtualization tools is. Virt tools. So the virt tools, it is the basically essentially just consists of six different open source project, QEMU, KVM, Libvirt, DVGAS DFS, Vert Manager, and Libvirt Info. You can find out by going to the website virt-tools.org. So with this, you can make the virtualization management easier, starting virtual machine, or basically creating custom virtual machines is all powerful tools that are belong to virtual tools. In this video, you're gonna see this, the virtualization tools. Here, here is the information about each one and then their license, website link, and then also their source management link. Since they are all open source, or they are based on different license, open source license, you can basically contribute it and then, you know, basically explore, download it, and do basically open source, become an open source contributor. So let's go explore what each tool is so you can leverage them and then also use them for your project. First thing is a kernel based virtualization. KVM. Kernel-based virtual machine, or KVM, is a full virtualization solution for Linux-owned hardware container virtualization extensions. 
KVM provides hardware virtualization of a wide variety of guest operating systems such as Linux, Windows, Mac OS, React OS, and Haiku. Using KVM, one can learn multiple virtual machines learning unmodified Linux or Windows images. Each virtual machine has a private virtualized hardware, a network card, disk, graphics adapter, etc. Oh, it's an also open source project based on G GNU GPL or LGPL license. You can see its source code and contribute it at the following URL. You don't directly interact with the KVM most of the time. Instead, you have to use a QEMU, Virt Manager, or other virtualization management tools to leverage the KVM. You can find its complete documentation at its official website. Second tool we're going to look at is QEMU, which is a short acronym for Quick Emulator. QEMU is a generic and open source merch machine emulator and virtualizer. When using an emulator, QEMU can learn OS and program made for other machine one machine. Example an ARM board. On a different machine, example your own x86 64 PC, when used as a virtualizer, QEMU achieves near native performance by executing the guest code directly on the host CPU using KVM. QEMU is an open source project based on a GPL version 2 license, and you can find its source code at the following URL. QEMU is supported in multiple operating systems, not just Linux, and its installation process is easy as learning through simple command as is showing the Mac installation process using Homebrew. After the installation, you can play with the QEMU by reading through its documentation at the OS official website. The third tool we're going to look at is Levert. Levert is a library and daemon providing a stable open source API, that means application programming interface, for managing virtualization host. It targets multiple hypervisors, including QEMU, KVM, LXC, Zen, OpenBZ, VMware EXX, VirtualBox, and more. Libvirt is an open source project based on GNU license, and its code base is at the following URL. So check it out. Another interesting thing about Libvirt is that it's a QVirt which is an open source project that lets you create and to manage virtual machines inside the Kubernetes platform, largely utilize Libvirt. As I've been playing with the Kubert quite a bit recently, I'll recover a blog about the Kubert project probably next time. Libvirt is definitely an interesting project to explore, and you can find a plethora of information from its official website at the following URL. LibGuest TFS. LibGuest TFS is a set of tools for assessing and modifying virtual machines or VM disk images. You can use this for viewing and editing files inside this guest, scripting changes to VMs, monitoring disk use, free statistics, creating creating guest, P2V, B2V, B2V, performing backups cloning virtual machines, building VMs, formatting disk, resizing disk, and much more. And this is also a project that I've been mostly playing with lately while working on Qvirt project based project called OpenShift Virtualization. You can find the video tutorial that I created here. LibGuest TFS is open source project based on the LGPL GPL license, and you can openly contribute to its source code located at the following URL. And its official website 
has extensive documentation specifying each command for usage. LiveGuestTFS official website at liveguesttfs.org. Vert Manager. Vert Manager is a desktop user interface for managing virtual machines through the Vert. It primarily targets KVM VMs, but also manages Zen and LXC. It also includes a command line provisioning tool, Vert Install. The best way to think about Vert Manager is the easy to use management tool for your virtual machine. With Vert Manager, for example, you can learn a Microsoft Windows environment through your currently learning a Linux as your workstation or vice versa. Vert Manager is open source project with GPL version 2 license and its open source code is available at GitHub. Unfortunately, at the moment, Vert Manager is only available for Linux platform and you can find its documentation at the following URL. Lastly, but not least, you have Livos Info. Livos Info provides a database or information about operating system leads to assist in optimally configuring hardware when deploying virtual machines. It includes a C library for querying information in the database, which is also accessible from any language supported by the Go object introspection. As you can guess, this is more of a building block to enable operating systems functionality, but quite an important one. Livos Info is an open source project based on LGPL version 2 license, and its source code is okay at the GitHub. And its documentation can be found at its official website at the following URL. As you can see, Vert Tools is consist of a set of six powerful tools that make the virtualization easier for everyone or enable necessary functionality behind virtualization. They are all open source projects, so I highly, highly, highly encourage you to explore further or to contribute. So what do you think? Be sure to subscribe to my UR YouTube channel and I will cover other technology videos and other tools next time. Thank you for watching and see you next time.